Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Monday, January 31st, uh, 2022. I just want to take a minute and wish my nephew Tristan happy birthday today. Um, hope you have a great day, Tristan. And um, oh, you should check and see how many subscribers Auntie's up to now. Anyway, you guys, um, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, um, and The Real Real. Uh, by day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist, and I know I told you guys that I was not going to have a video until Friday, but the name brand handbag box popped up on my porch yesterday, and it's been driving me crazy. So rather than peak, I decided to post a video early, and I am working on getting content for Friday night, but no promises, guys. Um, and Frankie's here. He wants to be played with, and probably because he can't get in the video. Um, I don't like this camera, how it is. I don't know that I like that either. But anyway, okay, so let's get into this box. It is five-piece name brand handbag box. It is from Swanee, Georgia. And I did shake it. I thought I heard chain rattling, um, but who knows? You know, there could be, you guys know, there could be anything in this box. So, um, and this one, I mean, it came quick. I just ordered it January 26th. Today's the 31st. So yeah, it definitely came fast. Um, and there is the paper. Let's see if I can get it without tearing it. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Okay. And here is your first look. And I am actually loving what I'm seeing on top. So let's pull this bad boy out. This is a blue, powder blue and navy, cute little Kate Spade satchel with the cross body strap or shoulder strap. I think you can adjust this out too. Um, yeah. And, you know, it, nothing fancy inside, just a blue, like leather type interior. And, um, it's pretty clean. I just, I'm just going to have to wipe, wipe it out. Um, there's a little, a few little smudges on the bottom, but I, I will bet you somebody bought this and barely carried it. And then it just got closet worn from being thrown around. There is, there's some, sm sm bleh, bleh, bleh. if I could speak smudges back here, but anyway, um, this, I think this is a cute bag. I think it'll do well, especially with spring coming up. Um, so that's one. Oh my gosh. Two is this giant Kate Spade gray and black tote. And you know what? I love this tote. It is a factory bag and you can tell that by, um, the, anyway, you can tell it's a factory bag. So, um, and it's because of this insignia, if it's open like that. So this does have a bit of strap wear, um, but you're carrying it like this. Who the hell's gonna see it, right? The inside, oh my God, girls, the inside on this one looks good. So, yeah. I mean, the inside looks almost like brand new. Yeah, this is so far so good. Okay. Y'all know pink's my color, um, but <laughs> this is not a pink bag that I will that I will be keeping. It's a pink Dooney and Burke, and I do see a little bit of ink really, really clean inside. And like, this is like the soft, luxurious suede. I mean, it's, this is a cute, cute, it is a cute bag. And it looks like the strap might be 
a little bit adjustable. Oh no, I bet it only gets tighter. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's, uh, there's, there's some boo-boos on the bottom and this, this unfortunately is probably, I will hit it with my leather cleaner, but it's not going to clean up well. I've found with these, some of these, um, colored bags that you actually do more harm than good when you try to clean them because you start rubbing off the, the color. So... But wow, I mean, inside's clean, the key fob's in there. The only thing I am not seeing on here is a Dooney and Burke hang tag, but what a great bag. So, so far, you know what? So far, I'm back in on the name brand handbag boxes. Oh, I just got a glimpse of the last two pieces. Okay, so let's just go here. We have this super cute Tory Burch crossbody, little crossbody. Yes, we've got a smudge here, but I'm sure I can clean that. Um, inside... Does not appear, I mean, it's, you know, it's not the cleanest, but this is a super cute bag. And I do believe that this is what they sent for my accessory. And for once, I believe that I can actually make my money back on an accessory. Not for the whole box, but, you know, these boxes are $100. So with tax and everything, you're in for... I think, I think it works out to $21 and 20 cents a piece for me is what I'm in for on each item. So that's what I have to make before, before I profit. Um, but Tory Burch crossbody number four and number five is this. And these are the chains that I heard, and oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not holding it up for you guys. I love, love, love this coach bag. Normally, I would get pissed for getting a coach bag in here because, you know, they have their own coach box. But this is a bag that I have never seen before. Oh my God, I love it. It has, it's got like a metal hang tag with a jewel. Um, oh my God, it's sparkly. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, the inside guys is blue satin. I'm gonna just pull it out. It actually, I mean, yeah, there's, you know what? There's a little bit of smudging on it. Just a, just a tidge of smudges, but holy smokes. I love this bag. I, you know, I actually love this bag for myself almost. And truthfully, I have gotten away from carrying bags, you guys. I have only been carrying my trusty little change purse that I got from Janet at um, Happy Hour Haulers. <clears throat> it does have, you know, a little bit of, but hey, if you've got long hair, you just cover that shit up. You walk around like this. Oh, yes. This is a nice bag. I love this bag. Love, love, love. Okay. So just to recap, we got this really awesome coach. That I don't, I just might, I might keep that for a hot second. Our accessory is a Tory Burch crossbody. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to list and clean these, you guys. We got this hot pink, <coughs> excuse me, hot pink Dooney and Burke with this fabulous green suede and red interior. 
We got this Kate Spade tote, big tote. Um, and then last but not least, we have this super cute powder blue with navy trim. Um, so I am over the moon, you guys, with this box. This is a good one. There's no cussing. There's no swearing. There's no Marc Jacobs. No Rebecca Minkoff. Um, anyway, so it's great. I, personally, I think it's a great box. You guys let me know what you think. Here is Frankie. Let me lift him up because he wants to get in the video. There's Frankie. Can you say hi to the people? Can you say hi? Oh, I don't know. He just wants to bury in mama right now. Um, okay, so no no crazy weight loss updates, you guys. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm still at almost 80 pounds, uh, size 14 pant. Extra large, large in a woman's top. I got this. I bought this. Um, Ed Hardy shirt off of Poshmark. I don't know who the reseller was that I bought it from, but, um, <laughs> I was going through my closet and I came across, I had saved a few pieces from like the early nineties grunge rock days. And forgive me if I've already talked about this, but, um, I saved a few pieces and one of the pieces was an Amber Crombie flannel, which is actually almost a little too big. I think I might have wore it in one of my videos. Um, but this other piece, my son snagged it. It was this green, like, this shirt had to have been from the 60s or 70s. I bought it at a Salvation Army store um, for 50 cents or a dollar to wear to a concert. And it ended up being one of my most favorite shirts of that time. But anyway, my son saw it, he loved it, he snagged it, so it's gone. But you know what, it's all good. I'm so proud of my son because for everything that I've done with the assistance of surgery, he has done without on his own. He is, um, he has lost so much weight. He's, I think he's lost more weight than I have. Um, so anyway, it's, it's a family affair. But with that, you guys, I'm going to let you go. We're at 12 minutes for a five-piece handbag box. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I'm going to have a video on Friday, you guys. Currently, I don't have any content. I am I am stocking for the boxes. Um, so I'm hoping to get something. I'm also on Goodwill.com looking there. Worst case scenario, though, I was thinking that I could actually dig out my... Because um, I... With my listing challenge, I've pretty much, well, I haven't listed everything I have, but I, I, I'm getting down there. Um, so I'm going to have to start going in on the death pile here pretty soon. So if I don't have an unboxing on Friday, maybe we'll um, take a look at my death pile. Okay. Um, so with that, y'all, I'm going to go. Peace out.